Hello and welcome to Let's Try Things We See on the Internet. Today it's going to be about face shaving. I have heard so much about face shaving from the past couple of years, but I've always been too scared to try it and I always thought and I can just go to the parlor and just get threading done, so I don't really need it. But I've moved to Singapore and here things are very expensive. Like if you want to do your upper lip and your chin threading, it can range anywhere between $15 to $20, which is very expensive. Like in India, it was like $50 to max $100. Rupees. So I thought, you know, let's get independent. Let's also try something that I wanted to try for a while and give you real-time updates of what it actually looks like growing out two weeks, four weeks, a month later on because that was my biggest fear. Like everybody says it doesn't grow back thickly but what if for me it grows back because when I shave, it grows back like <sighs> really thick. So let's do this together. The first thing you have to do to prep your skin is to wash your face, which I've done. And then I've seen a lot of videos where they said to use toner on your face to remove any excess oil. So we are doing that now. Okay, I'm back. I just realized my camera had some soft skin feature on which is why my skin was looking like not how it actually looks so I changed it so you can see actually what my skin looks like so I'm using the wow aloe vera which I've had for a while this much and I'm putting I'm gonna start on this side of the face I got these Jacqueline face and uh, eyebrow razors from India and uh, I got it at New You. It was about 400 rupees for three razors, which is a lot cheaper than it is here in Singapore. Here it's like $10, which is like 600 rupees for one razor. This is what it looks like. It comes with a protective cover. This is what the blade looks like. It's very sharp. From the videos I've seen, they say that you should hold your skin like this. And this goes at a 45 degree angle. That is, you don't shave it directly like this, but you tilt it so that it's... Um, like this oh my gosh i'm so scared okay uh oh i'm already seeing i don't know if the camera can capture that but i can already see my peach fuzz on it it's very gentle i can hear the crook crook of the hair that's being shaved let's do some more of it they say if you shave your face you get glowing skin makeup glides on easier i am doing it to just try it out upper lip is my main concern because it kind of grows pretty thick and it becomes very noticeable Let's keep going. I don't feel any itchiness, sharpness, nothing. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Surprisingly easy. I don't know if you can see it, but this much hair has come out. And I think since it also um, exfoliates the top layer of your skin, you would see like darker skin cells as well, which is why it's looking a bit dark. Now the moment of truth is the upper lip. How do I... Ah, okay. You know what, I'm just going to do this in front of a mirror <laughs> and I'll hold the camera alongside it. I feel like it's easier. This is how much hair and like dead skin cells were on my face. Now I'm just going to wash my face and uh, just pat it dry and just gently because my face is burning a little. I think that because it's like a new feeling for my skin or maybe it's too much aloe vera I don't know but I'm just gonna gently rinse it and then pat it dry and come back to the touch my skin feels very smooth and nice and you can see that like all of the facial peach fuzz has gone now it's just a matter of giving you updates which I will and hopefully this goes well and like doesn't backfire on my face but so far so good five minutes later hello I'm back so my face is feeling very dry and I'm afraid it's going to get like a bit itchy. So I decided to put some serum. I'm using the Innisfree Green Tea Serum. This is a very gentle uh, serum. I had this for a while, like this lasts for a very long time. It's a bit expensive, but it's a good investment I feel because it's very gentle on your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like me and uh, lasts for a very long time. And this is even after by mistake, like it opened up in my luggage and a lot of it spilled out. Like I've still been using it for about a year now and this is again something i've been using for a year this is the dew in my defense uh, moisturizer this also i need just like this much and it's very very soothing for my skin so i'm applying this combination of these two just to make sure my skin is feeling like calm and soothed after that new experience this is what my skin looks like on day one 
Hello, I'm coming to you um, one and a half weeks after I first shaved my face. I am very pleasantly surprised. It did not grow back thicker at all. Like along the side of my face, like I can feel that the peach fuzz is back. If I look at it like with my naked eye, it doesn't look thick in any way. It looks exactly like how it was. Um, I didn't feel anything weird, anything different. But I did notice that I had actually missed some spots here on the higher side of my cheekbones. So the next time I'm going to shave my face, I'm going to do that part. And yeah, I said next time I'm going to shave my face because this was a very good experience. And it has certainly fortified my belief that if you want to shave your face, it does definitely does not grow back thicker. It did, and this is one and a half weeks later. My hair usually grows back within like three to four days. So yeah, it's all good. Um, and if you are considering shaving your face or trying it out from me, I would definitely say go for it because like there's, there's literally nothing bad that could go wrong unless you cut yourself. But otherwise, in terms of if you're thinking if it would grow back thicker, if there was any problem or change to how your face looked um, in terms of like, would it grow back stubbly? Not at all. I am pleasantly surprised, but I will um, shave my face again for a second time and do like a very proper thorough bit and again check with you because um, I want to be sure. Like, I feel like the first time was a fluke. Let, let's be sure. Let's try another time. Okay, so this is the second time that I'm going to try to shave my face. This time I'm going to get all this upper cheek part which I didn't last time and so far again no problem whatsoever but we're doing it for the second time you know just to double check and see like if it's actually fine if I'm gonna get any acne etc from shaving um, let's see hello this is uh, I think like almost six months after that first video was filmed uh, my hair has grown a lot longer I just wanted to let you know it's been six months since I've been shaving my face and I've not faced any issues. I've not faced any pimples or uh, it hasn't grown back thicker most importantly. That's the thing I was most scared about. No problem at all. I have to, I only, now I only do my upper lip and sometimes a bit of my chin. I don't really do it for the rest of my face and I do that only like once every two weeks. But I'm so happy I've saved so much money and so much pain because no more threading and waxing. Um, and it's very convenient most of all that you can just do it by yourself at home. And these blades last a quite a long time. So I think like overall it's been life changing. I'm so glad I saw this on the internet and was influenced to try it. It definitely made a huge difference to my life in terms of uh, money, pain and convenience. So if you've been thinking about shaving your face, I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any other questions, you can let me know in the comments. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye.